the other thing that is going on in the second season, there's the Chase Crawford as the as the deep slash Aquaman. Yeah. It, like he's trying to get back into the seven. Uh, right. We learn a lot about Queen Maeve, who's sort of the Wonder Woman equivalent, a lot about her. But there's a new character in the second season named Stormfront, which mm-hmm. is so funny because Storm in the X-Men, who is similar, is is sort of the, like, she's one of the most lovable X-Men yeah, like characters. like wise and nice, yeah. Right. Wise, yeah. slightly vulnerable, but Stormfront mm-hmm. is literally one of the worst creatures who ever walked the planet. And Homelander has kind of met his match. That must have been oh, yeah. really fun for you guys to play. Oh, my God. It was so great. It was, it was, you know, I mean, first of all, we were lucky enough that, that they cast, oh, I was lucky enough that they cast uh, Aya Cash, who was just phenomenally talented, really dedicated and hardworking, but also just really smart and really freaking nice so um it's always more fun if you get on with the person that you've got to not get on with on screen you know and and she's she's just a great person to to work with because anything you you she'll go she'll go with whatever you give and she'll serve it back equally hard so uh that really helps uh when you got to butt heads with someone and boy boy did we butt heads uh well you more than butt she is anthony uh, yeah 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 but i'm not spoiling anything um <laughs> spoiler alert uh no but she really puts homelander on the back foot right off the bat she very publicly calls him out uh she's um she she puts him in a position where that he's not used to being on which is which is really destabilized and out of balance and that's the great thing about uh, about this season and, and and that character is she is such a, a disruptive presence in 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 everyone's world and um it's really it's, I, I think the season is better for it. That said, um, she is probably one of the most disgusting characters I've ever seen in a TV show, uh, which is yeah. slowly revealed. I don't know. I don't know any other way to put it. I don't know. Like there's some, there's some stuff she gets up to later on in the season. I'm like, wow, that's that's pretty grim. It's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, pretty horrible stuff. But. Thankfully, as I said, she's the most adorable human being in real life, so it, it, it balances out. 